Hello. See that clock behind me? That says 4 a.m. What the hell? Hey, so GB, you posted a video. Yay! That's a new video. Hooray. Yeah, we've been neglecting the channel. I apologize. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're all doing stuff. Um, today was taken up uh, with a lot of Let Him Dare related incidents incidentals um we discovered something interesting today if your name is notch and you link a website it gets hit a lot by interweb people that uh, follow you so supposedly notch has got nearly three thousand three hundred thousand followers so that uh that makes quite a dent on a on a ten dollar web host so i got to have some fun uh um, installing cache and reacting to our host saying, you better install caching, otherwise. Very reactionary. All right, so that was exciting. Um, hmm. Progress. I'm doing lots of stuff. I'm sure there's something else I can cover from there, but I don't want to. Um, let him dare. I, I wanted to try to come up with something to, you know, talk about for Let Him Dare. I was going to record myself um, going through the process of actually running the event. But then I realized it's mostly routine and click, 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 it's done. Um, this time especially, uh, I, I usually have to get the guys together and say, okay, I need somebody to help me prune the theme list. Like, uh, we have everybody submit a long list of themes. And I literally went to the channel and the theme list was already pre-pruned for me and, like, I don't know. The guys in the community are awesome. Super awesome. So, wow. Saved me so much work. <laughs> it's so much appreciated. Um, so this, this video is for you guys. You guys are the best. SOS, Quinn, you guys are awesome. Um, and uh, Let's see. Two minutes. I could stop here. But I want to throw a little, little last nugget of usefulness in there. GB was talking in, in his video about... Um, how he's going to crunch to finish something for... Well, I didn't hear it too clearly. I think he might have said something going on this weekend, which would very, be very disappointing to not see him at Let Him Dare. I'm just saying. But uh, either way, he's going to crunch something together for uh, a showing, and that's actually really, really awesome. Um, uh, both the showing part and then the other part of having a specific milestone goal uh, to aim towards, which... I guess in a way is what uh, Let Him Dare is all about. Is we give we give the entire internet a goal of okay, you got to make something right away. Here's your deadline. Do it. And the external factor of or rather the an external uh, milestone or or, or goal. Um, at least I I know I personally find to be an extremely powerful motivator. And the nearly 300 people that submitted games last Let Him Dare, uh, I I suspect they do too. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, milestones are an amazing motivator, um, but just picking dates out of your head, um, or another orifice, uh, you know, it can be not necessarily as effective. It's like, I want to finish this by June 17th. What is June 17th? Um, so at least from what I think is, is really helpful for indiness is picking milestones around interesting events, such as the one that GB has mentioned. He's got, there's a an exhibit of sorts he wants to participate in. So that means it's crunch time to make that make that game go, get it done. Urgh. And um, I myself, um, although I've already pretty much accepted that I don't think my game is going to be ready for the IGF submission time, that's October October 17th is IGF submission. It's Independent Games Festival. And that's like, according to my math, a little bit over eight weeks, nine weeks away. And, um, yeah, I don't think I can make it. However, I am still going to push ahead and try to force myself to have something interesting and playable, you know, almost to the state where I could submit, but knowing that I have no chance of winning uh, by then, because the IGF is awesome. Um, they're just amazing people. I was, I was a finalist one year. I know Seth's been a finalist a few times. Phil won a few trophies, I think. But, uh, yeah. This is a caffeinated drink. It's called Red Rave, and the can is blue. What is wrong? I'm, I'm not colorblind, am I? Actually, you'd be colorblind, because you're the one seeing it blue. What's wrong with you? This is red. 
Yeah. Mm. All right, five minutes. Um, yeah, I think that covers my milestone thing. Is that yeah, picking and using external motivators is an incredibly powerful and amazingly helpful tool to help you get stuff done. You know, that's that's again, that's why we run Let Them Dare to, to give everyone something to to convince themselves to finish something. That's why we'll be running the October challenge again because uh, I want GB to finish this game, so there'll be another October challenge just for you. And uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, this is going to take a long time to encode, so I'm just going to stop now. Hi, guys. Yeah, I got my hair cut. I didn't shave very much. <laughs>